Have you ever wondered how it would feel to live in a world ruled by dinosaurs? Picture this, towering creatures with scales, feathers, and teeth, possessing a variety of shapes and sizes that boggle the mind. This was the Mesozoic era, the golden age of dinosaurs, a time when these prehistoric giants ruled the earth. The Mesozoic era, often referred to as the Age of Reptiles, spanned a whopping 180 million years. This era was divided into three distinct periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous, each with its unique set of dinosaurs. The Triassic period, the dawn of the dinosaur age, was home to some of the earliest dinosaurs. These early dinosaurs, like the small two-legged Eoraptor, were just beginning to hint at the diversity and dominance that dinosaurs would later achieve. Following the Triassic was the Jurassic period, a time when the dinosaurs truly began to rule. This was the era of the long-necked, long-tailed giants like the Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus. These colossal herbivores roamed the land while pterosaurs, the flying reptiles, claimed the skies. The final stretch of the dinosaur age, the Cretaceous period, was a time of great diversity and change. Dinosaurs like the fierce carnivorous Tyrannosaurus rex and the horned Triceratops lived during this time. The Cretaceous period also saw the rise of the first birds, marking a significant transition in the history of life on Earth, from the small, nimble Eoraptor of the Triassic period to the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex of the Cretaceous. The dinosaur age was a time of incredible biodiversity. Herbivores, carnivores, creatures that could fly and those that could swim, dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes each adapted to its specific environment and way of life. With such a diverse range of dinosaurs, the Mesozoic era was indeed a fascinating period in Earth's history. So let's continue our journey through time, exploring the world of these ancient, fascinating creatures. Dinosaurs were not just big lizards, but what exactly makes a dinosaur a dinosaur? When we think of dinosaurs, we often picture colossal, fearsome creatures. While this image is not entirely incorrect, it's not the whole story. Dinosaurs were indeed large and powerful, but they were also unique in many ways that set them apart from other reptiles. One of the most distinct features of dinosaurs is their upright stance. Unlike many reptiles that walk with their legs sprawled out to the sides, dinosaurs carried themselves upright with their legs directly beneath their bodies. This stance allowed dinosaurs to be more agile and quick, a handy trait when you're a massive creature navigating through the prehistoric world. In addition to their upright stance, dinosaurs also boasted special bone structures that further distinguished them from other reptiles. For instance, many dinosaur skeletons feature hollow bones, a trait shared with today's birds. This feature not only made these massive creatures lighter and more agile, but also allowed for better oxygen flow, giving dinosaurs the stamina to roam and hunt over large distances. Now let's delve a bit into dinosaur classification. Dinosaurs are divided into two main groups based on their hip structure the Saurischia and the Ornithischia. The Saurischia, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs, include species like the fearsome T-Rex and the towering Brachiosaurus. On the other hand, the Ornithischia, or bird-hipped dinosaurs, include herbivores like the Triceratops and the Stegosaurus. Despite their names, it's the lizard-hipped group that is believed to be the ancestors of modern birds, not the bird-hipped group. Talk about a prehistoric plot twist. So what's the takeaway here? Dinosaurs were more than just big, scary lizards. They were complex creatures with unique features that allowed them to thrive in a world vastly different from ours. They had upright stances, special bone structures, and were divided into fascinating groups based on their hip structures. So, the next time you think about dinosaurs, remember they were much more than just oversized reptiles. Why did some dinosaurs have long necks while others had sharp teeth? The answer lies in the fascinating world of dinosaur adaptations. Adaptations, my friends, are physical or behavioral characteristics that help an organism survive in its environment. Dinosaurs were masters of adaptation, and their unique features allowed them to dominate the world for over 160 million years. Let's take a walk through the prehistoric world and look at a few examples. Imagine a dinosaur with an incredibly long neck. This is a sauropod, one of the largest creatures to ever walk the earth. Their long necks weren't just for show, they were a crucial adaptation. With such a long reach, sauropods could munch on leaves high up in the trees, a food source other dinosaurs couldn't access. Now, consider a dinosaur with a thick and sturdy tail. This is an ankylosaurus, a herbivorous dinosaur. This tail wasn't just a tail, it was a massive club that could be used as a powerful defensive weapon against predators. 
On the other side of the diet spectrum, we have the terrifying T-Rex, a carnivorous dinosaur. Those sharp teeth weren't just for smiling, they were perfect for tearing into the flesh of their prey. But adaptations weren't only about diet and defense. Dinosaurs also had hunting strategies. Take the Velociraptor, for example. Despite their small size, Velociraptors were fearsome hunters. Thanks to their sharp claws and intelligent hunting strategies, they would hunt in packs, outsmarting and overpowering their prey. Each dinosaur, whether big or small, herbivore or carnivore, had their own unique set of adaptations that helped them survive and thrive in their environments. From long necks and sharp teeth to sturdy tails and cunning hunting strategies, these adaptations were a testament to the incredible diversity and resilience of dinosaurs. These adaptations allowed dinosaurs to thrive in their environments for millions of years. So the next time you see a dinosaur, remember it's not just a creature from the past, it's a testament to the power of adaptation and survival. So, what happened to these magnificent creatures? Why don't we see dinosaurs roaming around today? Well, around 65 million years ago, dinosaurs, the colossal creatures that once ruled our planet, suddenly disappeared. This event, known as the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, marked the end of the dinosaur era. The most popular explanation for this mass extinction is the asteroid impact hypothesis. Scientists believe that a massive asteroid about six miles wide slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The enormous energy released by this impact would have caused wildfires, triggered tsunamis, and launched so much dust into the atmosphere that it blocked the sunlight, leading to a nuclear winter scenario. This severe change in climate would have affected all life on Earth. Plants would have stopped photosynthesizing due to lack of sunlight, leading to a domino effect in the food chain. Herbivorous dinosaurs would have starved, and the carnivores that fed on them would have followed suit. But the asteroid impact is not the only theory. Some scientists propose that intense volcanic activity or drastic climate change might have also played a role in the dinosaurs' demise. Despite this catastrophic event, not all dinosaurs perished. One group managed to survive and evolve, the birds. Yes, you heard that right. Birds are the living descendants of a group of two-legged dinosaurs known as theropods the members of which include the powerful predator Tyrannosaurus rex and the smaller Velociraptors. Birds inherited many features from their dinosaur ancestors, such as feathers and hollow bones, which have allowed them to become the incredible creatures we see today. So, while we might not see dinosaurs as we traditionally imagine them, their descendants continue to soar in our skies, reminding us of a time when they were the rulers of the Earth. Despite their disappearance, dinosaurs left a lasting legacy on our planet. Their story serves as a powerful reminder of the fragility of life and the dynamic nature of our planet's history. So, what have we learned about the awe-inspiring dinosaurs? We've journeyed back to the Mesozoic era, the age of dinosaurs, a time when these colossal creatures dominated the land, sea, and air. For over 160 million years, dinosaurs were the undisputed rulers of Earth. They inhabited every continent and adapted to the changing environments, proving their resilience and versatility. We've explored what makes a dinosaur a dinosaur. It's not just their massive size or their fearsome teeth. It's their unique skeletal structures, like their upright stance and hollow bones. Each dinosaur species had distinctive features, from the long neck of the Brachiosaurus to the three-horned face of the Triceratops. We've discovered the amazing adaptations that helped dinosaurs survive and thrive. Some dinosaurs developed sharp claws and teeth for hunting, while others evolved long necks to reach high vegetation. Dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus even had rows of plates along their backs that could have been used for defense or temperature regulation. And of course, we've discussed the end of dinosaurs. About 65 million years ago, a cataclysmic event led to their extinction. Whether it was a colossal asteroid impact, massive volcanic eruptions, or drastic climate changes, the mighty dinosaurs were wiped out. But remember, not all dinosaurs disappeared. Some evolved into a group of animals that are still with us today. Birds. Yes, that's right. Every time you see a bird flitting about in the sky, you're witnessing the living descendants of dinosaurs. In this journey, we've only scratched the surface of the fascinating world of dinosaurs. There's so much more to discover and understand. So keep those questions coming. Keep that curiosity alive. Remember, the more we learn about dinosaurs, the more we understand about the history of life on Earth. Keep exploring, young paleontologists.